Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometer. You are logged on and tuned in to the Hanging With Web Show on HWWS Web TV, and we are at the Ogali Artworks Art Festival in the Ogali Art District of Melbourne, Florida. Wow. Anyway, that's where we are. I don't know where you are. We hope that while you're there, you'll hit subscribe, come back over and over again, because we're hanging with artists, authors, filmmakers, musicians, creative minds of all kinds. Right now, we are hanging out with artist Trisha Eisen. Trisha, thank you so much for thank hanging out with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for bringing the art, too. Awesome. My pleasure. It's always fun to have great visuals on set. This is amazing. Um, okay, so we have to, we're going to do the interview part, and then we'll talk about art. But you guys just ignore that part. So, okay, Trisha, thank you so much for hanging out with us again. Thank you um, for having me. How long have you been working as an artist? I painted uh, quite a bit in high school. Okay. Then I did the usual um, family, yeah. married family, career, engineer, teacher. Engineer. Mm -hmm. And See, then. See that you don't expect. You don't no. expect that. This art's coming from an engineer. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, what, what kind of an engineer? I worked at the Space Center for uh, wow. several years. Yeah, we worked on Launchpad 39B, re redesigning Launchpad 39B. So like literally. And I handled. Um, literally. I handled the the drawings of the redesign, and then. That is super cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you did that for. Planning Research Corporation. Awesome! Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so from engineering back from, in, and you loved painting and, and art in high school. I did. You went on and did life, and then when you came back, um, what drew you back to the creative arts? After my engineering career, I went into public teaching in middle school. Okay. I taught at Johnson Middle for 14 years. Wow. And then after that, I found myself retired, and my husband says, well, you've always wanted to do your art. Why don't you do it now? So in 2012, I picked up the paintbrushes again and didn't stop. I just kept going. Kept going. And going. And this is an amazing piece. Tell us about this piece. This uh, gonna, was a canvas. A it's, it's a chiclet of a canvas that I didn't like the results that I did on it, so I was covering it up with a dark, dark, dark blue. And my brush accidentally hit the white on the palette. And as I was doing my swirls, it, I looked down and I saw feathers. So I should have named it Serendipity. <laughs> Really, because you know, one of the things that we love about being creative artists is those happy accidents. Yes. Because you find something. It's, it's in the mistakes yes. that you find something, and, and just accidentally grabbing that white, and you ended up with this right. very. Fe this is awesome. And then I, I wasn't just happy with just the white and the blue, so I added water coming out of it, like the bird was taking a bath. Wow. Bird. Serendipitous bird bath. Exactly. That's awesome, by the way. Um, okay, so um, you are a painter. That's yes. Your, your medium is, is paint. Uh, but oil, I do like acrylic. sculpting. So I do both do oil and acrylics, okay. depending on the subject matter. If I'm painting uh, fur and animals, I prefer acrylics. Okay. If I'm painting wild, uh, other wildlife or landscapes or portraits, I do oils. Okay, now, is that your favorite subject, wildlife and, and yeah, yeah, kind of a wildlife uh, painter? That's awesome, though. Yes. Um, what is, uh, what, what do you do, you do uh, large scale, or are you kind of a close-up artist? Do you like to do individual animals or more landscapes? You know, what kind of... All what, of the what, above. All of the above. Uh, in my tent right now, I have two paintings that are three feet by four feet, unframed, well, without the frame. With the frame, they're much bigger. Wow. Um, and then I've got some paintings that are eight by tens. So it de just depends on my mood and and the subject and the time I have. There you go. That's fantastic, really. Um, what it, do you have in your tent down there right now, or, or overall, do you have? A, I mean, it's kind of like picking a favorite child. Do you have a favorite piece, something that just popped? Yes. What is it? It's the gang. The gang. It's three little squirrels coming out of a knot hole in a tree. Three squirrels coming out of a knot hole in a three tree. Three baby squirrels. And that one just kind of popped for you. That was, was that something you saw? Yes. It, it, okay, so you saw this happen and yeah. you were I have to paint that. Yes, in my front yard tree. In they your were, front yard tree. They were coming out of a hole that a woodpecker had made. And they took it over. After the woodpecker finished and left, 
the mama and the daddy squirrels got in there and built a nest, and the next thing I know, I had three baby squirrels. Wow. All right, you know, that's the coolest thing because, um, you know, uh, people wonder, I think, a lot, especially when they see all the paintings and the people down here uh, mm -hmm. through the art festival, um, you know, what things inspire an artist. And that was just something, an everyday occurrence in the knot hole in your front yard, right. in the tree in your front yard, and there it is. And that inspired you to do a piece, and that's one of your favorite pieces. It is. That's amazing. We're going to try to uh, grab a photo down here at the shop of some of your favorites and, and spin those up for our audience there. So uh, let me ask you, um, do you have a favorite? Uh, now, as a writer, I look for places around the house where I can have peace. So I look for a window I can look out and get a good view, something inspirational. Right. Do you have a favorite place to paint around the house? Well, I took a bedroom and made it into a studio at home, but I also have a studio right down the street. Awesome. On on Highland. Yeah. So you, you, it, you, it just gives you an environment where you it can does. be you. It does. You know, and, and, and create and that kind of thing. Um, any uh, painting rituals? Do you need to have it music? Is it something you want quiet when you're painting? Um, when you're when you're sitting down to create something new. Uh, what are your rituals? It doesn't really... Is there really... a snack on the table? No. Are there cookies? No. No. Oh, no. no cookies. See, I need, I'm a writer. No. I need cookies. A Yeti of water. <laughs> got, uh, i got to have water, okay. And I don't care Separate what else is going water, on. brushes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Although I have done that. <laughs> it's an occupational hazard. There's uh, yes, water it is. everywhere for everything. So um, you also a sculpture right here. I've not done that in quite a while, but yes, I do like to work with wood. Oh, with wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to ask. What medium? And what do you like to sculpt? What, what, what are your subjects? Are you doing more wildlife or is it... Well, it actually happened when I was teaching middle school. Oh, okay. I taught a technology class and the, the, it was mainly boys and they wanted to make um, CO2 cars, race cars. Oh, okay. So they got a block of wood and of course the teacher had to compete with them. Well, so I had to carve course. my own. Nice. And so, yeah. So you kind of taught yourself how to do wood carving. Wood carving, right. That is cool. Right. That is really unique. Um, as uh, now, um, You've been doing this sort of in retirement, coming back to art after a long time away from it. Um, at, in your career as an engineer and as, as an educator, um, was art, was it something that you really missed or was it something that you didn't know how much you were going to I didn't know how much I was going to miss or that I had missed it. Really? Until I picked up the brush again. That is, that's remarkable. And did you yeah. do anything with, when you were teaching? Did you do anything with the arts? Or just, no. Just, uh, what were you teaching? I taught technology. Technology. Yeah, and television from, production. And from engineering and technology, television production. Oh, God, could I have known her. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, and then to art. And, yes. And you just came back and it, you, you have an incredible eye. Thank you. I, I mean, really. Um, again, this was, guys, for those of you who can see this on camera, I, I hope, well, yeah, um, this is an, uh, fe the feathers and the water, and it's an incredible piece, and it's a happy accident. This is one of those happenstance. Exactly. She was, she was covering over what she had done and decided that she would do something completely different with it, and that's, that's remarkable. Um, at, now that you've been doing this in, in retirement and you've found a new love, for the painting. Um, for those young artists out there, we just had a young lady, Crystal, from Merritt Island High School that came and sat down. She's at the very beginning Great. of her artistic journey. Um, what advice would you give those kids if they came and they said, I really love art, I really love painting, sculpting, I really love the arts. What advice would you give those kids today? Do it every day, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. Keep the brush wet, keep, keep the knife sharp, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Do it every day. Do it every day. Yeah, every it day. is. It's so important. And when you get away from it, you, like you said, sometimes you don't even know that you miss it. You're doing what you love. Right. You're you're living right. your life and having a good life. You, you can regress if you don't. Mm -hmm. You can go when backwards. You, what was the hardest part about diving back in when you came back from a long life and career? Careers, to plural, by the way. <coughs> Trying to remember the how the mediums worked, how to get that thin, fine line, mm -hmm. uh, do the fat over lean. Uh, all those things that, that I learned in high school that I just d didn't come back right away. Diminishing skills, yeah. I mean, well, they are because, you know, so much of, of the creativity comes from you. It's your talent and mm -hmm. what you bring to your paintings. But getting it on the canvas is a, is a matter of those fine art skills. Yes. And those, are, those diminish over time if yes. you don't use them. And so even if you go out and live your life, right, pick up the brush that night. Every, every, every day. Every day. Just do something. Yes. Draw a picture. Paint something. 
you keep those skills fresh. Yes. You never use them for anything but around the house. God bless you, and if you decide someday to come back to it, you'll have those fresh skills. You'll have exactly. a, a, an advantage because when Trisha came back, you had to reteach yourself all I of did. those things. I did. Yeah. Uh, what was the biggest challenge to you? Um, you know, when your husband said, oh, hey, you always love to paint. Why don't you try diving into that again? Um, now you're here at the art show. You're selling pieces of work. Um, it's it's an yet another career. Yes. That's right. Um, what was the biggest challenge in, in, as that unfolded in front of you? Ah, um, trying to break into the art world here. Mm -hmm. I, I was a, a newbie. I didn't know anyone. Um, so I, I had technical questions. I had to have answers to, but I didn't know who to go to. Mm -hmm. So I went to Ralph at Ralph's Art Supply. Awesome. And Ralph was a, a really good source to begin with. Um, just trying to remember the skills that I learned in high school all over again. And rebuild mm -hmm. on those. And, you know, that's one of the greatest things about being a part of the arts community now, is that it is a community. Yes. And it, it is filled with people who, on other professions that I've been in <coughs> through my life, I found that um, if I was in sales, somebody else was selling the same thing as me. We were competitors. And if I was in, you know, when I was a journalist, other reporters wanted the story that I wanted. So we were competitors. As a part of the arts and entertainment community, what I found is that my competitors want me to succeed. They want to help me mm -hmm. build those skills, do whatever I can do. I just got lucky because I'm sitting down with a television production teacher. That's awesome. See, <laughs> that doesn't happen. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. What do we have? This is, oh, okay. Uh, you're out part of the art community now. You're downtown here selling paintings uh, in, in the festival. What is the most memorable or best interaction that you've had with somebody who's come up to your space? It doesn't have to be this weekend, by the way. It could be. Oh, my. Uh, lately, it's been I've been approached by several different show coordinators that want me to enter their shows. That's fantastic. So it makes me feel good. It is rewarding, um, isn't it? To know it is. that, you know, again, after coming back to this, after so long being away from it, and then someone says, I want you to come and do our show. That's pretty awesome. That is, is really awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, we have been hanging out with artist Trisha Eisen. Uh, we are going to drop links down below so that you can find any of Trisha's online presence. I don't know all the things that, that, that they know how to do these days. They, they've, the, the, the Twitter, the Facebook, Instagram, the girls do all that because I have no idea. But I know that we're going to drop links down below so you can find Trisha and see some of her fantastic art. In the meantime, we're going to thank our partners and our friends, uh, Famous Faces and Funny, Space Coast Comics, Indie Original, Josh Bauer at J. Bauer Art for all the fantastic art that adorns our set this weekend. Um, our great friend at Krypton Radio, as well as Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida. Thank you to everyone who supports the show. Thank you for logging on and for tuning in. Be sure you come back over and over and over again. Hit subscribe and, how did the kids put it, smash that little bell. Get notified to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much, Trisha. Thank you. Fun. It may have been reporting. Possibly.